take one. I'm making this film because I saw myself in your story. I always felt like I didn't fit in with my family. My parents ran this very controlling house. I ran away a lot. Skateboarding is more of a family than my family. How did you get disciplined? I mean, well, they call it child abuse now, but... Life might be moving too fast. We have to fully grow up and it's gonna suck. When you're a kid, you just do, you just act. And then somewhere along the line, everyone loses that. I knew you had some huge weight on you. Skateboarding meant more to you. It was kind of a life or death thing. I remember hearing screaming coming from your room and it was like really, really unnerving. One of the last things I said to my dad was that I hate you. You can't just have a child and abandon them. Life doesn't work like that. I just don't want him to grow up like me. I just want to hide. I just want to run away. That's what the drinking is about. Maybe you're right. Maybe I need to just move on. I wish you could. I wish then it's, uh, I can do over. I could seriously be on the verge of having a mental breakdown. But as long as I'm able to go skate, I'm completely fine. <laughs>
called them brown children in Vietnam. Stick with civil rights. He said, my friends are turning on me. He was devastated. Do you fear for your life? It isn't so important how long you live. The important thing is how well you live. Attacks and the criticisms on him were getting more and more vicious. <laughs> I'm gonna march if the spirits in march. The FBI was constantly investigating Kane. We will not tolerate lawlessness. I'm gonna march if the spirits in march. Dr. King looked me straight in the eye and said, if you can't drive, you run. If the spirits in march. You can't run, you walk. I will march, oh Lord. You can't walk, you crawl. I'm gonna march if the spirits in march. If the spirits in march. If the but keep moving forward. I wouldn't believe the story if someone else were telling it, but it's true, every word of it. It started when I went to college. It was the first day of school. All these people are coming up to me saying, Eddie, how are you? Eddie, hi. I'm like, my name's not Eddie. I don't know what you're talking about. As soon as this guy turned around, I knew it was Eddie's double. I said, you're not going to believe this. You have a twin brother. Oh, my God. As I reached out to knock on the door, it opens. And there I am. His eyes are my eyes, and my eyes are his eyes, and it's true. And then the story went from being amazing to incredible. It was an article to Twins Reunited. I think I might be the third. When people ask me what is the most remarkable story you ever encountered, I tell them it's the story of the triplets. You guys have been on the front page of every newspaper in the world. True. true. They were more like clones than they were like brothers. It was a miracle. There was nothing that could keep us apart. That's when things kind of got funky. Something was just not right. They separated these boys at birth. The parents had never been told that there were two other children. What was the purpose? Why? How could you not tell us? They're trying to conceal what they did from the people they did it to. When you play with humans, you do something very wrong. Who would be evil enough to come up with something like this? There's a lot of powerful people that would like to have this story silenced. There's still so much that we don't know. It boggles the mind. It's a mystery. I'd like to know the truth.